To write the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgNO3 2, sodium phosphate plus magnesium nitrate, we first need to balance the molecular equation. So if we balance the molecular equation, we end up with the coefficients 2, 3, 6, and 1. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description for how to balance the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble. They'll dissolve in water. That's aqueous. Nitrates, very soluble. So we're going to put AQ. That'll dissolve and dissociate. Sodium nitrate, soluble. But let's take a look at this magnesium phosphate. Phosphates often are insoluble in water. So we find magnesium right here, and we go over and phosphate. So we have this I. That means that magnesium phosphate, that's insoluble in water. It won't dissolve, so it's going to be a solid. So we'll write a little S after Mg3PO4. In fact, when these substances react, this will be a solid, so it'll be a precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that will give us the complete ionic equation. So on the periodic table, sodium is in group 1, 1 plus ionic charge, that whole phosphate, 3 minus, good one to remember. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 sodium ions. I'll write aqueous at the end, let's not do that right now, plus 2 phosphate ions. And then magnesium on the periodic table, 2 plus, because it's in group 2, so we have 3 magnesium ions. And then the nitrate. Nitrate, this whole thing, always has a 1 minus ionic charge. We have 2 nitrates times the 3, 6 nitrate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a positive and a negative, so 6 sodium ions just like the reactants, plus six nitrate ions. And then for the Mg3PO42, the magnesium phosphate, it's a solid. We do not split solids apart in net ionic equations, so it's just Mg3PO42. So this is the complete ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgNO3 2. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. We have six sodium ions here in the reactants, six in the products. We cross those out. We have six nitrate ions here, and then again in the products, we can cross those out. Everything else is unique. That makes this the net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus magnesium nitrate. Let me clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus magnesium nitrate. Often you'll see the positive ion first when we write net ionic equations. It really doesn't matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. If we look at the charge, we have 3 times 2 plus. That's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. So 6 plus, 6 minus. They cancel out. Net charge is 0. And over here we have a net charge of 0 as well. This is a neutral compound. If you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgNO3. Two. Thanks for watching.